This program was made possible by a grant from the Healthcare Initiative Foundation. The following is one in a series of nursing simulation scenarios created to educate nursing students and refresh new practicing nurses about situations they could encounter in practice in a simulated context. Complete information about this scenario from setup to debriefing questions can be found at www.montgomerycollege.edu slash nursing simulations. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Robert, and I'm the registered nurse this morning. Hi, I'm Joyce. Joyce, nice to meet you. I'm Jill. Jill, nice to meet you. How are you doing today? What brought you to the clinic? My sister, Joyce. She seems to think I have a problem. I, I, I don't know. I've just been so tired lately. I don't have any energy to do anything. I, I'm, I'm just tired. I'm very concerned. Um, she's not eating, she has um, lost a lot of weight, she has been skipping a lot of her classes and um, even her routine practices she's been skipping and she hasn't been uh, on her Facebook page and I'm just very concerned, something's wrong. Jill, tell me what the typical day uh, looks like for you. Just a cool practice with the girls. I go to classes. Um, I just studying. It's I, I I don't know. It's it's just been too much too much lately. I I cannot do anything. I've just been tired. I have student loans. I have just paperwork. Pay. Just I can't do it anymore. I'm. It's I need to get some sleep. I'm tired. She's been a straight A student and you know that's why we're here. I mean she's been like a go-getter, you know, very motivated and you know on top of things and now it's, it's, things are different and we know that something's wrong, you know, with her and so that's why we're here. Jill, tell me um how have you handled stressful situations in the past? I don't know. Was there anything in particular that you liked to do when you felt overwhelmed? I like to go for walks and run, listen to R&B, rap music while I'm walking. I like to go down to the monuments. With, with us being here in GW, Washington area, it, there are so many places to go for walks with, so I just, that's, that's what I like to do. That's what I used to do. I just don't, I can't do anything anymore. There's nothing. And the other thing is last fall, um, you know, she had told me that this wasn't the place she wanted to be um, by uh, most of her friends or most of the people in the, on the crew team are sorority snobs. And she, you know, her roommate is never there and most of them drink and she doesn't drink. so. Um, that's an added stress by her not having friends. And then Jill, by breaking up with her boyfriend at the beginning of the semester with Paul, you know, that's another thing. And then since dad has a new wife and a new baby, that's been a lot of stress. Jill, have you had any thoughts of um, harming yourself? Have you been thinking about death? I've thought about it. It's it's easy. I could do it doing crew practice. I can fall, lose my balance, fall into the water, fall out of the shell, and just let go, and then just just go. I'll be gone. That that's the best way to do it. That's the way I'll do it. Oh my God! You have to snap out of this. You you have to do something. Joe, um, I understand it's a very difficult time for you. At this moment, 
why don't we work together and create a, a plan which will help you to get through this difficult situation? Um, what we call this is a no suicide contract. And basically, uh, what this contract um, includes is um, you will give me the numbers, the phone numbers of three of your friends that you can call when you're going through some difficult time, when some negative thoughts and thoughts of harming yourself come to mind. And um, which would be the, per the first person to think about? Um, this one number would be my sister, Joyce. Okay, Joyce, do you mind? Yeah, I can give you my number. Okay, and um, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, the second number. I have a real, really, a best friend. She's a real close friend of mine um, when I was in high school. Her name is Matilda. Okay. Um, I can give you her number, and sure. it's 301-567-8968. Okay, and the third number? And my high school counselor for the four years I was in high school, her okay. name is Miss Wilson, and I'll give you the number for, for her at work, and it's 301-629. 8365. Terrific. Okay, so when you feel um, unhappy, sad, depressed, or anytime you have any thoughts of harming yourself, you should call one of these three phone numbers either your sister Joyce, or Matilda, your high school friend, or Mrs. Wilson, your counselor. Mm -hmm. Besides, we can add a few more things in this um, plan that we're just creating. Um, I would like to list a few of your most favorite activities so that anytime you feel depressed or sad, you just start doing one of those things, whether it's going to be a dance or a walk. Let's, let's mention a few here. Let's write them down. Let's do walk in. Okay and listening to music while I walk or jog, which okay, you know, my music. favorite artist is okay. Alicia Keys. So Alicia Keys. I, okay. I like her. Um, and then just going out to the monuments just to see the different things in the Washington area. And that's, that's, those are two things I like to do. Okay, terrific. Um, so um, this is basically our plan. I'm going to give it to you so that you can sign right here at the bottom. And then I'll sign next to you. Great, thank you. I'm going to make a copy of this plan, give you this copy. In the meantime, I'm going to call our physician, our psychiatrist today and um, I'll get back to you. Just give me a second, okay? okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, good morning. Hello, Dr. Youngblood. This is Robert. I'm the registered nurse here today at the student clinic. Uh, I have Jill Johnson. She has suicidal plans. Yeah, she is second semester here with no prior medical history and with no medications. Uh, she has become increasingly withdrawn for the past month and she has a plan uh, for harming herself. And I just completed a no suicide contract with her. Yeah, I do have an assessment. Uh, my assessment is that she is overwhelmed by stress and does not have much social support here at school. My recommendation is that you see her as soon as you can. Thank you. Thank you very much. This program was made possible by a grant from the Healthcare Initiative Foundation. The Healthcare Initiative Foundation is a nonprofit grant-making trust governed by an independent volunteer board of trustees. 
The Foundation supports organizations that offer solutions to improve the quality and delivery of health care for residents of Montgomery County, Maryland. For more information about the Healthcare Initiative Foundation, visit www.hifmc.org.